I'm Lucia Subarin, Founding Technical Lead for Google Cloud Cortex Framework, and in this series of videos, I am going to explain how to deploy Cortex Data Foundation. As a recap, Cortex Framework is a set of customizable templates, reference architectures, and deployable content for data solutions to accelerate your AI and analytics journey. If you're looking for an introduction about Cortex Data Foundation and what you can achieve with it, please check the video series in the description. Now let's move on to the steps to create your own demo of Cortex Data Foundation. The easiest way to understand the framework for the first time is to start with the simplified guided demo deployment. This will create a sample deployment with test data and automatically fulfill dependencies so you can see what the data models and artifacts look like. You will find this deployment in the GitHub README. This deployment starts with this button and assumes your user has enough permissions to execute builds, assign permissions to the Cloud Build Service account, and create cloud storage and BigQuery artifacts. You'll have the best experience if you use an empty project you can delete afterwards on which you have owner or editor permissions for this demo deployment. You can follow the progress of the deployment using this link or from the cloud build by searching for a build tagged Cortex. By the end of the deployment, you will have a set of datasets with views and tables in BigQuery to provide insights from workloads like SAP, Salesforce, marketing, and more. You will also find the files for change data capture processing and materialization of results that are configured by default. We will cover more about this in a bit. If you go back to the Cloud Shell, you will see the button you pressed clone the repository and filled in a configuration file. The script went on to create all of these artifacts for a smooth deployment. This demo deployment is not suitable for production, but meant for you to understand what to expect after deployment and give you the chance to explore the data models and lineage. If you want to get ready for a deployment that uses your own source systems and is suitable for production use, keep watching this series. We strongly recommend you check the detailed instructions in the README. Coming up next, let's learn about prerequisites for deployment.